no. Hello everyone, Mr. Beefy here. Um, today I'm going to play some Go Fight Pal. It is a wrestling or fighting card game um, that I've been playing for a little while now. A guy I know that I met while playing Champions of the Galaxy um, decided to go and make his own uh, wrestling or fighting card game. And um, it took me a little while, but once I dove in and started getting some of the cards, um, I was kind of hooked. It's something that me and my wife like to play. Um, we kind of had our own wrestling fed going on. Um, and after becoming parents and stuff, um, we kind of slowed down in our playing. And so what I'm wanting to do is get back into playing on a regular basis. Um, and so I've created my own fed. Um, what I'm using is these uh, sets that came with the, um, that you can get from the game. They're free agents uh, two and three. Are what I'm using majority of. Um, if you've seen any of the artwork on my channel, um, as you can tell, Mr. Beefy and Baby Beefy, these are two cards that I've created for the game. Um, and so that's kind of, that's where those come from. It's a pretty simple game, um, very short, quick. Uh, that's why me and my wife liked it. I used to like playing Champions of the Galaxy regularly, and it's a good game as well however it is a lot more time consuming in this this is pretty simple you just pick it up play you only need a six-sided die um not too many charts and so yeah so that's the artwork from those but i'm not going to start with those today so here i started my fed i'm calling it the free fighters alliance this tournament to see who will become the first champion so first on my list is muck and disturbed youth so there's disturbed youth there's muck um and i might do a video later explaining the game in a little bit more detail uh, i just kind of wanted to try playing it on camera and see how it works there's also this thing called the deck of heck um, the way it works is there's uh rumble ratings and if you if one fighter gets so many more um above the other one they're eligible to get a card from the deck of heck they're kind of like flavor cards so like here for example let me flip one over tko if you survive your pop three times in a match ref stops the match for a tko you lose so like i said it's just a little bit more to add flavor you don't have to use the deck of heck um but me and the wife like using it so I'm going to do that here. Typically, it's for if someone has three or more above on their Rumble rating. However, I like using them, so I am going to knock that down to two or more. So here's Muck. Kind of a swampy-looking guy. And he is from the swamps. And Grimy Headbutts Rumble rating, Muck Breaker. So fast forward power play rumble rating i might explain these a little bit as i go fast forward is what is used on the initial roll here's disturbed youth from free agents 2 from auburn hills and his finisher is disturbed death drop all right so let's get these above here <laughs> yeah, no, I like putting it on this side and this side. We'll do that. Newbie in doing this. That's what I'm doing. So Muck is out, you know, Muck is from the swamp. So I'm gonna give him the green die. Disturbed youth is gonna be the red die. Now we roll to see which fighter goes first. Highest roll wins. However, we will check the fast forwards as well. Alright, so Muck rolled a five and disturbed youth rolled a four so you check that against their fast forward so disturbed youth did not roll their fast forward muck rolled a five which is their fast forward so think of fast forward as a fight starts the fighter comes out swinging hard and hits the other opponent so hard that it might knock them out immediately so what you got to do is roll the opponent's pop so disturbed youth will be rolling his pop and as long as he does not roll a two he is good to go and he rolled a six so he survived that initial shot muck because 
Um, he rolled his pop. Muck takes over on offense, or positive, as it's said in this game. A two, which is a rumble rating. Okay, so this is what I talked about earlier. Rumble rating, you each um, fighter rolls a die, and then you add the um, rating number here. So Muck has a rumble rating of three. Disturb Youth a rumble rating of plus two. So Muck rolls a nine. Disturb Youth rolls a six. That is enough to get a deck of heck card. Rear Naked Choke. Roll after opponent pop survival. All right, so we'll save that. All right, so Muck continues. He, he rolled higher on the rumble rating, so he continues on offense. Grimy Headbutts. And Disturb Youth is hit. Roll of six, which is dirty work. Disturbed Youth up oh, is rolling his pop, so he has to avoid rolling a two. Let's see what happens. And he rolled a five. Okay. So, Muck is going to use... So, Disturbed Youth survives his pop, but Muck is going to use the Rear Naked Choke card. And this is because uh, Disturbed Youth survived a pop survival. So, roll... 2d6, and if it's two fours, he wins, and it's not two fours. Okay, so we'll discard that, and Muck will continue on positive. Five, filthy kicks. Let's see what happens to Disturbed Youth. He rolls a four, which says youth, so Disturbed Youth is making a comeback. Rolls a one, hits Muck with a lariat, and Muck blocks it. Disturbed Youth hits his Disturbed Death Drop odd. So Muck has to roll a 2, 4, or 6. And he does not. So he rolled an odd number. So now Muck will roll his power play, which is the last ditch effort to survive the fight. So Muck has to roll a 1 to stay in this fight. Otherwise, Disturbed Youth will win. And this Muck did not survive Disturbed Death Drop, and Disturbed Youth is our winner. And that right there is how matches go. So I will move Disturbed Youth on to the next round. If my pen will work. All right, and the next one is going to be Scrapyard Dog versus Hedge Knight. Now, Hedge Knight is another one that is my creation, so I thought of it kind of like a Swamp Thing meets a Medieval Knight, and Warner did a great job, as he always does, on these cards, so... And that's what Hedge Knight's card looks like. And then Scrapyard Dog. Um, another thing that I really like about the Go Fight Pal game is you will often see homages to a lot of uh, real fighters. And actually, there are some real fighters in the game as well. So some people, uh, uh, they have gotten some of um, real wrestlers' um, cards for this game as well. His home is the Scrapyard. All right. So same rules as before. We're going to roll our initiative. I'm going to give Hedge Knight a green one. See who goes first. Hedge Knight rolls a four, um, which is higher than Scrapyard's three. However, Scrapyard did roll his fast forward, meaning he hits Hedge Knight with a shot. And so Hedge Knight has two numbers under pop, so he cannot roll a one or a two. Uh-oh, he rolled a two. My guy is going to go down quick. So now he's rolling his power play. He needs a four to stay in the fight. And he did not get it. He rolled a one. So Scrapyard Dog, you know, just put him away. And see, that's as quick as some of the games can go. And that's the luck that my guys have. So Scrapyard Dog will move on. And Hedge Knight will fight another day. All right. The next fight on this event is going to be Dr. Mathematico 
finisher is a QED. And the next one is Josh Johnson. Midway Spike says finisher. So yeah, I really like the free agents uh, because it's community based. So all these were created by people that play it regularly. So it's nice to see everyone's creativity in these. And that's why I decided to start this um, fed using these cards. All right, let's roll. Let's see, oh, it's a tie. However, Dr. Matematico has a fast forward of four. So let's see if Josh Johnson survives that shot. And he does. He rolls the four. However, the doctor takes over on positive, And he hits him with the number cruncher. What happens for Josh? He blocks it. Doctor hits a QED. And because that finisher has a three by it, you add the finisher number to this. So Josh Johnson has to avoid rolling a three and a two on his pop. And he rolls a five. So he might be hurt, but he is still in the fight. The doctor rolls a scaling triangle choke. Let's see if how Josh reacts. And he is hit. However, there's this little option here, cane smash, DQ of five. So he's going to go for a, a cane smash. And as long as he does not roll a five, the ref does not see it. And he hits him with the cane smash. And so that puts Dr. Matematico on negative. And he rolls a three, which is him taking over. However, there are some asterisks here. So let's look at how that works. So we will roll. And if it's... An even number, he hits his finisher. He comes over with the finisher, and he does. <clears throat> so that is a strange turn of events. So he hits the QED. Josh Johnson needs to survive a three or two pop roll, and he rolls a three. Josh Johnson, it's not looking good. Let's see if he can power play out of it, and he does not. So the doctor wins with the QED was looking worse for wear and hit the QED out of nowhere. So yeah. And next up is Rex Rex. Rex Rex. From your hometown. Not my hometown. Your hometown. And the rump shaker is this finisher. <laughs> I love some of the crazy names. And he is going against the Bahamas Bull. I wonder who that, that is an homage to. I can't think of any fighter. And his finisher is the Seaside Slam. All right. So... Bahamas is going to be red. Rex is going to be green. Let's start this off. Ooh, and Rex has two fast forwards. And we're going to say that's a two, which is Bahamas, Bahamas Bulls fast forward. So Rex rolls his pop. He rolls a six, so he's okay. And Bull takes over. Positive. And tries to lock in a sharpshooter. And Rex reverses it and <laughs> is going for the big wiggle. But Bahamas is having none of that. And is trying to go for the grotto's elbow. And it has an asterisk. So we are going to try a seaside slam. If he rolls a one. It's a seaside slam. Otherwise, it's a normal move. So he hits the elbow or tries to hit the elbow and Rex dodges it. Bull goes for a Caribbean clothesline. Rex dodges that as well. Oh, and going for another Grotto's elbow. Rex blocks it. Bull 
Uh-oh, hits the seaside slam. Finisher rating of four. Rex has a pop of five, so we need to avoid a four or five. And he rolls a six, so he is still okay. Bull continues his onslaught and rolls a rumble rating. All right, so let both fighters roll. Rex hat rolls a one, plus one is two. Bull rolls a four, plus three, that's seven. So let's get a neck of heck. If you survive pop three times in a match, Rep stops the fight for TKO, you lose. Oh, so Bull better not uh, get hit too much. He rolls in positive again and goes for another seaside slam. Rex needs to roll his pop of four and five, rolls a two, and the fight goes on. Bahamas Bull, Paradise Punch, rolls, hits, and might knock Rex Rex out. So let's see. And he rolls a five, which means we are on to the power play. Can Rex get up before the fight is called? Can he recover? And he does not roll the three that he needs. So Bahamas Bull knocks out Rex Rex with a paradise punch. And so that is that. And I will write down the results. All right, so there's the beginning of the tournament. Got that one. Poor Hedge Knight, my creation. Oh, well. Maybe he'll win next time. So, I think in the next one I'll be going into the, um, the next four fights. Um, but that will be next time. Thanks for watching. If you want uh, to learn more about the game, check the link in the description. That will go to the official website. Um, and I will also promote another chant channel a uh, solo promoter um he also plays go fight pal online and does some set overviews and also uh um plays some champions of the galaxy i encourage you to go watch him um and his content's usually pretty good actually it's better set up than mine and he will probably explain it better but anyways thanks for watching go check out the game i love it it's a family favorite in my household um see you next time fight fans Ugh.